I'm Carl J. Vargas. I read reptiles as a hobby. Been doing it probably for, gosh, over 20 years. Uh, I'm the owner of South Texas Gex. Reading reptiles is a passion for me. I have my friend here, Catalia. I'm gonna show her my zoo. Uh, <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. That's Daisy, that's Callie, that's uh, Tina, this is Belle, and that's TM for Troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these this are right so here cool. Is blue, a Cayman Island blue rock iguana, Louis Hill hybrid. Yeah. This is uh, what they call a swamper, an Utila spiny tailed iguana from the island of Utila. It's one of the most rare uh, spiny tailed iguanas. Mexican black spiny tail, the banana phase. Uh, she's actually a, a blue cross banana, kind of a, a cross. Actually, it was a pair, one but of I guess the male is hiding in his uh, high blue, like the first cage. The older sibling. Ooh. Blue. Look at that. Very pretty. Come on out, say hi. This is Jack. This is Belle. Hi. One of my female cicadas. This is Jack. Jack. This is the first first uh, <laughs> rock iguana that I first clutch of rock iguanas that I hatched out, and I gave him to my daughter. He's, he'll be ten year old. He'll be ten years old in, on Halloween. Oh my gosh. We hatched, uh, Hi. October thirty first. Uh, 2008. Yeah, Carlissa chosen as one of the babies, and, and it's her. It's hers. And that's her baby. Aww. How heavy is he? Is he heavy? Uh, he's probably about 12 pounds. I'm ah. guessing. Maybe close. I don't think it's quite 15. But it's not fired down right now. I mean, when he fires up, he's a lot prettier gray when he's hot. Yeah. You know, the sun's going down. Okay. What's up, Jack? <laughs> Why did he do that? It's just uh, like saying hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so squishy right here. <laughs> he's so cute. I've never actually like pet an iguana before. Oh, he's so beautiful. It's weird you'd expect these to be like hard and right. spiky, yeah. like leeches and crusties, I guess. <laughs> you are cute. No, here's my iguana setup. Ooh. Beware of attack iguana. <laughs> That's awesome. So this guy here are uh, Honduran spiny tail iguanas from Honduras. Ooh. Uh, their uh, the scientific name is um, Tenosaura melanosterna, which is the common name is black breasted spiny tail iguana. Really fascinating, really, really pretty. When he's fired up, he's all blue with black, very pretty. There's another young female uh, rock iguana, like what's over there. I just got her a few days ago. She's actually. Oh. Um, a baby from Jack. Oh. Jack's daughters. And over here are a pair Oh, of that's so cool. My red foot. This is red foot. Ten the uh, Tenosaura conspiciosa. I forgot what part of Mexico they're from. I think Baja California, I believe. There's mm. a pair of females probably hiding inside the, the Heidi here. And then here is another pair of pides. They're going to be, she's peeking right there in a little cave. They're a little shy. Right. This is the mom, mama blue rocky iguana from the two youngsters Ooh. over there. Uh, the females don't get as big. The male, like there's, there's daddy. He's the blue guy. He's the mama, he's about as big as, as Jack. Oh, there. yeah. That's okay. agave. He's blind in one eye and has a jet jaw, but he makes oh. beautiful babies. <laughs> That's cute. It gives him personality. Uh -huh. Here's another another trio of bananas. Younger bananas. They're not quite yellow as, as the Ooh, older beautiful. are. Beautiful. Here's another pied. I mean pie, excuse me. She looks pie because she's got white patches. Mm -hmm. She's a banana. I like these. If I got I some, I'd get these. What do these usually sell for? I sell babies for three fifty. Oh. I've got eggs incubating right now. And they're like like bearded dragon. You know, I might want one of these when you hatch some. As they get older, they get more yellow. So you're getting this coloration probably at three to five years. Okay. This is an adult male. See how wow. you got jowls too? Yeah. Just to look more impressive, I guess, more size to look more intimidating towards other males and whatnot. Yeah. Wow, he's so cool. They're, they're also one of my favorite species. And yeah. every iguana species is herbivorous, right? Yes. Okay. The spiny tailed iguanas, well, spiny tailed iguanas are, are omnivores. 
Yeah. They're like basically like bearded dragons. When they're younger, they eat more insects okay. and greens, and as they get older, more more of the uh, greenery leaves and whatnot. But I do uh, supplement the uh, females when they're breeding with, with uh, rodents for extra calcium for the okay. eggs. And these are my rhino iguanas. I, I was expecting her to lay this weekend, but I guess not. She's about to lay any day now. You know, she's fixing her eggs. She's full of eggs. She can't really eat, so she's not comfortable right now. <laughs> Poor girl. We have, we have 21 red foot. Oh, do they just like lay eggs everywhere? <laughs> yeah. They do. So her chore is to come out here and make sure that they're put up so they don't, because at night sometimes they don't come in here, but this is where. Wow! This is their night night little. This is so cool. That one, there's a yellow foot. There's four yellow foots in here. And this one's a beautiful cherry head that's got marbling. Oh my gosh, hello! <laughs> You're adorable! Portis eggs in here. Oh, is this? all my spiny tail we want eggs. Yeah. Oh. Like over 100 plant eggs in there. Oh my gosh. These are my holdback <laughs> baby red foots. Like I need a holdback, right? <laughs> yeah, we have like 20. <laughs> <laughs> They're just really pretty. Got a lot of color, that's why I kept them there. This is some of my artwork. My Ooh. rock side painted. I had a friend of mine make me these. Okay. Let me see. This one, the one that got away was this one is its touch me. Whoa. Oh my gosh. So what made you decide to keep this one since you didn't keep the other one? What it was was this one and the one that, that got away were the first that I hatched out from we were a high pattern pair that I believe would make some pretty babies, which I was right. Yeah. Since they were the very first at a week old. I took it to a show and it sold. So I didn't have any clue that what it was going to do. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't sell anymore just to see because obviously the parents are really high pattern and I had a feeling they were going to, I just had no idea to this extent that, you know, because when that one was posted, I, I had all kinds of people just PM me crazy like, hey, well, how much or you sell, you have any more? And like, yeah, this is one of the granites. This so is, if you were to sell this one, how much would you sell it for? I probably wouldn't take less than 12. Digits. I'll give you my car. <laughs> okay. This is also a sibling. This one is more speckled. Oh, it's in the shed. In the shed. <gasps> oh my god. He's in the shed. But see it? Still. All the speckling and the head pattern, the head stamps is what really, I think, makes them stand out. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I wish it was in the shed. It would give us some more of the dark against the white. But now what's really interesting is that at the time that I when I was pairing all these all these guys up, I had another punch of this pair that I thought would make some really nice babies. They produced uh, three clutches for me, and uh, not not related to the granites, but check out the the oldest one. He could pass as a granite, and not related. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna breed him to one of the female granites. These are two years old. Oh, that you're excited for oh, them to I grow. <laughs> Uh, this is these guys are two years old already, and they yes. got another year to go. This is a, a granite, and I think it's really neat how they how they all vary. And that being said, I think if you come back like oh, in wow. six months and see this one, more spots fill in. See all these little spots coming in? I do, yeah. Because that's how those look too. They 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 get more spots as they get older. This one's got the head stamp too. So this one's a female. I don't have very many female uh, granites. Hmm. So this is one I'll pair up to some other high pattern. This is also granite. Let's see all these little speckles. Yeah. They just come out more and more. This one's going to be probably like very much like the first one I showed you. The head stamp. Yeah. So cool. I want to come back and see all these when they're bigger. Oh, you're welcome to come whenever. This is not even related to any of mine. I picked this up from the Hampers at this NARBC. And this is a male that I intend to put also with my, my granite line. And I honestly believe that my granite line has a lot of Pine Isle influence. People ask me, what's your favorite locality of lychees? It's the Pine Isle. Because I've seen a lot of really pretty high pattern Pine Isles. This is another granite. 
this one's comparable to the one they got away. And the one, the first one I showed you, it's got lots and lots of pattern. And it's gonna get even more pattern. I am so excited about this project. And because I'm holding all of them back, I think once I pair all these up, I'll be, I may be able to retire and do this full time. Hopefully in two more years. This is another young granite. All this, it, I mean, it may get more, it may not, but more likely it will. Yeah. It should saturate with more spots. This one's got the little bars, so to speak. It's just a pattern that, that grows together to make the real. I love bars on, on Lichianas. Mm -hmm. This one's fired down. This one's another pretty one. This one's got a really pretty head, head stamp. Oh, that's fine. It's got really nice big almost bars. Yeah. With a lot of the speckling coming in. Another one. This one's got some really nice bars. Ooh. But yeah, those bars I think are really yeah. beautiful. This is a pure brass. This is the only probably pure locality lychee I have that I know for sure is what it is. <laughs> and he's got some really nice pinks, but of course yeah. the lighting in here is not really good. And he's really shy and he's got <laughs> he's got some tood. Pretty boy. Sorry, I have to take this one with me. <laughs> if, she wasn't paired up, if she wasn't paired up recently, I'd let you take her. You this give is, me all of the mean ones. Aisle. Here's Astrid. You guys have met her. I really don't want her to <laughs> attack me. <laughs> I got from Reptiles by Mac a few years ago. See all the pattern on this pine aisle? And pine aisles are known to have blocky heads. I honestly believe this is a pine aisle. Yeah. Um, he's not that big. He's got the big blocky head. He's got a lot of pattern. And I think this with her is gonna do really good things. This like, guy only, the I don't know if you remember me posting where I had two geckos get loose in my reptile room. Oh. That's the day he, he bit me. Just a little, just barely. And it was the first time and last time I gotten bit. But I was gonna say, when I get bit, I'm gonna post it because I've never been bit, but he's, he's beautiful. I mean, he's got the pretty reds and that's daddy to that one I have to show today. This is mama. She's an unknown. And believe it or not. Oh, she's interesting looking. Believe it or not, she produced some red, and I know that the male didn't have it, so it's gotta be her, so I'm thinking these two will produce some really nice reds. Produce high pinks also. I'm waiting to get bit, I never just reach anywhere. This is a female, <laughs> she's Anna Ami Cross. Nice bulky little girl. Mm -hmm. The male is sitting into that real nice red that's over there. He's got the nice... Oh, he's so cute. When he's fired down, that pink really, uh, and that green really comes out. This is a pine aisle, supposedly. I don't have any lineage, it's just what it was sold to me as. It's got peppering, mm -hmm. like quite a bit of pattern. This is one of my favorite pairs. They make purple uh, peppered babies. What? And that's that the parents to that real light colored one you were asking me about. Okay. She's got the beautiful <gasps> Whoa! Pieces. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. That is so cool. And they're good, good sized geckos. They're way yeah. over 200 grams. This is pair six. I sell most of the babies for 650 start them out because okay. they're so, so really pretty yeah i do plan on splitting this pair up and putting the female with one of my granites and you will see i plan this female to put with the very first granite i showed you mm -hmm. and you'll see why and that right there is going to probably be one of the i think one of the best pair ups that i'll probably have i've got only i think three babies from this pair so far and uh, uh, like in a minute i'll show you pair 12 and i'll show you what they produce and it's that's nuts i don't know <laughs> where it's crazy well you just never don't know what's gonna come out of an egg and that's what i like yes yeah. <laughs> it's like christmas yes a uh, high pink female with a lot of pattern she looks like my granites oh my god she was produced by nathan hall We've got tons oh, of oh nathan i love his stuff. yes so this female i, tr I plan to put in with my male granite up there and i hope they hit it off i picked up this male He's got a lot of pattern, got a lot of peppering, he's got underbite. I like his look. He's oh cute. my gosh, he's so cute! <laughs> he kind of reminds me of the, my rock iguana outside the, yes, the underbite. Yes, that's what I just thought. And he's got a lot of peppering, but he's got a lot of pink. So I don't know what huh. this pair is going to do. The ba Like I said, the babies don't look very impressive, but you know, that doesn't mean anything. They can always get more color and pattern as, as they mature, as they, oh, as they change so much. You know, you know the babies don't look anything like the adults anyway, but he's a real sweetheart. This is uh, pair seven, which are my granites, the original parents of my beautiful this is This is the male. I think he's got a little bit of GT uh, in him, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. He's got beautiful pattern. Wow. This is the female, and I got her from a wholesaler. Just 
Wow. He doesn't know where she came from. He just picked her up somewhere. He couldn't tell me where she came from. Whoa, she's so contrasted. And she's got a lot of pattern too. But this pair together just makes phenomenal stuff. And uh, they're they're fairly hefty geckos. They're both at 100, 250 grams. Wow. So not only do they have a lot of color and pattern, they got size. Yeah. Feel that. Oh my gosh, she's huge. <laughs> I'm used to my little Nuanas and Nuabis. <laughs> hey girl. She must be the one who eats all the food because I don't see much of him. <laughs> he got fat she, last looks, night. she looks very fat. <laughs> So do you have babies like these available or are you holding most of them back? I am holding most of them back so that I I, I probably will have some available. I'm just waiting to see the, the ones that are worth keeping mm -hmm. with probably higher patterns so that I can continue the better lines. You know, I will have, I'm like, there's no way I can keep everything, but I have to keep them until I know what I'm gonna really keep. This is an older sibling over here. Really nice colors. Excuse the dirty, there is any. This is an older sibling, the first from that pair. I mean, that color is not in the parents, so it must be in some of the background being that they're across or, or mixes. No telling where it comes from, it's just really nice. This is a younger granite, it's a little shy. I just changed it to this cage, but you can see that that's kind of what they look like before they start getting all the pattern. Here is the whole, I guess we're gonna jump. This is the whole back gargoyle. Oh my gosh, is that thing real? <laughs> Wow. It's, it's, it's pretty real. South Texas kicks. Making line. You know, she's shy. Sarah's gonna freak out when she sees this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pair fives. This is some, some more of the high pattern pine aisle uh, influence from the male. So I, I honestly believe that pine aisle is what's really putting all that pattern into these beautiful geckos. This one you really can't see a lot of pattern yet. It may not get a lot of pattern, but the genetics are there and like I say being that there is one of the females so good I'm male heavy on, mm -hmm. on the granites so this will definitely be one of my male granites see this one's got a lot of pattern so this will go good with mm -hmm. that almost looks exactly like a granite and it's unrelated wow, this yeah. one's got the, the big blotches this is going to be comparable it's got the head stamp already showing it's going to be comparable to the one they got away and also the first one I showed you that had a lot of pattern yes. it's got the big blotches it's going to get all this suffusion in between this is another granite this one's got the bars He's got all the speckling coming in already also, I and mean, you got the, the bars, mm -hmm. the head stamp, not as prominent as the other ones, but still a good, a good specimen. I mean, these granites, I think, are gonna, what's gonna put my name out there for good. I'm gonna jump up here and show you one of my whole pack of gargoyles that not quite ready to breed yet. It's a male, super red, almost looks purple maroon. Oh my gosh! He's like maroon, so deep Whoa. red, that he looks almost purple maroon. A nice head structure got the horns this is a yate kogus yate being one of the biggest biggest uh, localities produced by the hamper he's beautiful he's probably wow. over 400 grams Ooh. got the diamonds down the back wow uh, that's so cool he's he was produced by the hampers hamper line yate uh, i think he's four or five now i can't remember i have to look <laughs> at his uh um, that was cute <laughs> <laughs> you short there, Bubba. She's kind of like an orangey, reddish uh, base color. She's nice. With red stripe. Mm, she's nice. She just laid her first clutch the other night. And <laughs> she just laid her first clutch. Usually, I know, the way I know they lay eggs is when everything's pushed up on away. the side like this and pushed down. That When it's like that, I know somebody laid. Oh my Wait, gosh! Um, so he just recently got big enough to breed. So he hasn't, I haven't even produced any babies from him yet. But did he look like that when he was little? Did he look like he was gonna be that red? That's why he's still with me. I got a good eye. I mean, I've been breeding them so long and I kind of know what's worth keeping on her little bitty. She's gonna lay soon, she's nice and fat. So, you can see all these were produced by me. So this, like I said, this is my line. That is so cool. You're all holdbacks. I just reached the point where I have my own geckos I produced making babies. Awesome. Now, so. She's she's grandmother of that real pretty first one you saw over there. She's your only female blotch? Yes. Cool. His name is Daiquiri. He's a yellow Oh retake. my gosh. So you said he's... He's got to be at least 18 years old. Gay. And he's he's a, a yellow retic. Kind of wild type. 
I honestly believe he's probably F1. You think so? And where'd you get him, you said? I actually was one of the first two uh, Vargos to ever hit, come to the PetSmart here. Wow. I bought the first two. The other one was a Red Retic, and she never produced for me. I had her for like five years, and I never, she was mean. That's cool that you've kept him this long. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. Um, Carl has some of the most amazing geckos I have ever seen and had the privilege to hold and work with. Um, I did end up getting one from him and I wanted to tell him thank you so much for this beautiful gargoyle. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I am so in love with it and I can't wait to start producing some of my own babies. So if you have name suggestions for this guy or girl, please leave them in the comments. Be sure and check out Carl's Facebook page and Instagram which is South Tech Skex, and he's Carl J. Vargas on Facebook and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video very soon and thank you to my patreon supporters I appreciate you guys so much and I have a new video coming up for you guys very soon on patreon this video should be uploaded the day before I head to Tinley so I will see you guys this weekend for the Tinley NARBC reptile expo I'm not vending but I'm gonna be there hanging out so come find me and say hi and let's take a picture and Carl will be there too so be sure and stop by his table and check out his gecko Thanks guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I need a thumbnail. Why, did it come off? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. A lychee ate it. <laughs>